Hello, my name is Teresa Koblack, and today I will be doing a demo with uh, alcohol inks. The alcohol inks come in a variety of colors. Uh, these are some of the colors that we will be using today. And um, let's get started. I have a ceramic tile here. This is what you would use in your kitchen or bathroom. I'll be using some alcohol. You can purchase this at the pharmacy or at a hair supply store. And I will also be using a little bit of the blending solution. In the uh, paint holders on the side here, these are made out of ceramic. And these work great because you can put your ink in them and reuse them. All you need to do is pour a little alcohol in it and it wakes it back up and you can use it again so these are great i recommend having them and i do recommend having the ceramic i also put a little alcohol this is the uh, 99 percent alcohol in my little glass bottle and that way i can use this for cleaning my brushes it works way great i also use it on my painting and then over here in this glass container, I have a little bit of the pitch black. So I keep that separate from everybody else. So let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little blending solution on. I like to just kind of mix and match. So I just kind of pick some colors I like. The colors I'm using are pool, sailboat blue, uh, raspberry, flamingo, and some limeade, uh, twilight purple, and a little cool pareil, which this is a real light color. You might want to save that more for doing the details, and a little limeade. And I take and put that on a variety of colors, just shake them on. Beautiful painting right there, huh? Nice abstract. But we're going to go ahead and turn this in to something different. And we'll just bring these colors over. And don't be afraid to move your tile, tip it back and forth. And what I like to do is I like to see what the painting wants to do with me so I kind of know what I'm going to do or what I'm looking for and then I also let the painting work for me and I really love these clouds I get going so we're gonna bring our little straw in clean them off so I used them on a different painting and just going to lightly drag him across here because we're going to put a water scene in right here. And I'm going to want a little bit of that pool. So we have a little bit of blue so it looks like the ocean. And a little bit more, not too much. And then just drag it across. We got our horizon right there. And have a little bit more. We're just dragging a little bit of that paint off. This is going to be our shore up here. Add a little bit more of that blue. This is the pool blue that I'm using. And just a little bit. So 
a little bit too much on there. So let's bring some off right away. There we go. Like I said, let the painting help work for you. I'm liking that. Love the sky up here. That looks real nice. And now we're going to go ahead and add a little sand in down this way. So we're just going to touch in a little bit of those browns. Tap off a little on your paper towel. I don't have to worry about these colors. These colors can stay there. You got your sun coming down, so that's going to be bouncing off the water reflection on the beach and the sand. I'm going to come in with my brush, a little bit of mixing my paint over on the side here, tap a little off. Now the brushes I'm using you can just get at the craft store, they're not real expensive, or you should be able to get some online. Uh, the ones that I have are used for acrylics. And they work just fine for the inks. And every time I use my brush, I do clean it off in the alcohol. I'm going to add a little more blue in with my straw. This land right here. Sometimes I'll just add some color and decide I don't like it and wipe it out. Things aren't real expensive, so they are super nice to use for that. The great colors and um, I like that they dry fairly quickly where if you paint with the oil paints they take very long to dry so these are really fast drying And we're going to go ahead and go back in with our brush. You see, and I dabbed a little bit off. I just want to make sure I didn't have too much going on my brush. Okay. It's about the size I want. Now what I am going to do next is bring some of that color from the sky down here. Now, there is another way of doing it. You could do it just like I did the clouds where you drip it on and tip it and pour it down, or you can take the straw and just keep adding in that color or brush. And grab my paintbrush here. I have a little assortment of paintbrushes that I use. Uh, it's nice to have more than one length. I'm 
me bring this over a little so it looks like there's some rocks. Like it's hitting up against the shore here. Tiny bit of brown in there. Just want to work on that horizon a tiny bit more. Might add a little bit of green in. Make some land off in the distance. A little bit of sun coming down. We'll go ahead and put a little yellow. This is a uh, limeade here. And sometimes I want to make sure I just have a tiny bit of color. I'll just sometimes put it on a little tile and go back and just grab it. And sometimes I will blow on my painting a little bit just just to kind of uh, make it dry a little bit faster so it doesn't go into the other colors. One thing nice about using the alcohol in the ink is it will make different when it's working together. It's kind of making... You're painting by helping you with the shadowing and the different colors. They're combining together. And it's just a really, really neat look. So what I'm doing right now is I got these rock formation kind of right here. And the ink is helping me do that by just kind of moving as it does. And I just say, don't be afraid to try new things. You don't like the painting. You can take your alcohol, wipe it off, and start again. That's the nice thing about the inks is they aren't real expensive. And you can play with them and just try different things different techniques. Okay, and I'm kind of liking that. I'm going to add a little bit of more green in here. Sometimes you'll see there's up here in Michigan at least uh, there's moss and stuff that will grow by the water. And then this is my fan brush. I love my fan brush. I recommend everybody gets one. Again, this one is for acrylics. I'm just tapping it into my colors a little bit. Come over here and tap it off. And I'm just going to bring some grass up out of these rocks. And again, just tapping into my paint a little bit. I come over and tap a little bit off on the paper towel and just bring it up a little bit. And I'll pick up a little bit of brown for shadowing. Make sure I don't have too much on, so I tap some off. It's 
Looks like the grass is coming up from the cracks there. And a lot of times just to finish off a painting, let's try this a little bit and I'll show you. It's just a heat gun that I'm using. So that was a, a nice little heat gun I'm using, not real expensive. You can get that in the crafting area. And I'm just going to draw a couple of birds. So I want to make sure I don't have too much ink and I'll tap it on my uh, paper towel. Uh, a couple of easy birds is just a little V. You can just take and draw a little V. Now if you want, practice on a little tile on the side and you can just little V it. Otherwise, you can do another easy bird, like that. But we're going to go ahead and go with that little V one. And put a little more paint on my brush. I make sure when I'm putting the paint on, then I want to wipe it on the side because I don't want to have too much paint, just enough to do what I want. Tap it on my paper towel, make sure I don't have too much. And I think I'm going to put them, uh, I think I'll put them right about here. And I was talking too much. My paint got a little dry. Go back over and grab some. And... I usually do two together. Sometimes I'll do a little bit more. So there we go, just some birds flying. And make sure I clean off my brush. You can see the black ink in there, and that's fine because I use this for cleaning. That just goes to show you how much ink is really on these. So nice and clean on that. The other thing I can do um, with my fan brush, if I decide I want to make a few little flowers, I'm going to go in here with some green for a little more type stems. And I'm just using this little brush right here. Like I said, these are brushes for acrylics, but they do work great on the inks. So... Just want a little more green in there, and I'm going to show you. We'll go ahead and I think this is a wild plum combination with some purple. Sometimes I end up with more than one ink in a container and tap a little bit off. I'm going to come in and just add some little flowers. And I'm going to make these guys flowers too. And I could even come in with another color if I want. So I'm going to wash this off. And I'm going to just tap into a little bit of that yellow because it's really nice when you can mix a couple of colors on top of each other. And I'm going to add just a teeny bit of orange. Sometimes that teeny bit becomes a lot. Tap a little off. There we go. And just some little flowers by the sea. Well, there we go. So I hope you like this painting. It's, um, again, alcohol ink. And sorry about the squeaky floor. I live in an older house. So I do have a squeaky floor. I'm going to go ahead and put that 
paper towel down so you can take a look and just enjoy. Thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed this nice little video. It's perfect for a big beginner. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to try new things. So thanks so much for joining me. Again, my name is Teresa Koblack, and thanks again. Have a great day.